Hello, Jamini. All right, we are going to do a love in separation video today. All right, so just whomever you're thinking about while watching this video, somebody that you're not talking to, somebody that you're missing. All right, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Clicking that like button really bumps me up in the YouTube algorithm, right? Also, if you want to book a personal reading, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Right? Okay. So. Oh, also too, I am doing a uh, free cards Friday, like free card Friday, every Friday live stream with free card pulls. You want to get in on that, click the subscription and also set those notifications, the little bell over to the side to all. So you're notified when I upload new content. All right. Jamini, love and separation. Let's do it. Bottom of the deck. We've got the moon. All right. Coming into the current situation, we have the queen of pentacles. back. The challenge, the blockage, or the obstacle is the star. Okay, well, that's not much of a blockage, but okay. Foundation of the reading, the ten of swords. The recent past. We have death, Scorpio, scorpionic energy there. Aquarius with the star. The crowning energy, the overall energy is the three of cups. The near future, coming into the near future, the high priestess, card of Pisces, doesn't have to be. How you see yourself right now? We have the strength card for you, Gemini. All right, I like it. Energy external to you that you may or may not be aware of. We have the fool. Um, how does this person feel about moving forward with the, in this connection with you? We have the three of wands. And potential outcome, we have the Knight of Cups. All right. So with that moon card on the bottom of the deck, right? Cancer Pisces energy. So we've got Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo. We've got all of the suits on deck here. All right. So the Queen of Pentacles, somebody just got this. I just don't remember who it was. Queen of Pentacles in the current energy. What's this Queen of Pentacles? For some of you, this is going to be um, someone that you were married to that you really miss. And the Eight of Wands. Um, they're coming right towards you, though. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But with this Eight of Wands, they are on the move. Or they are, you know... It's going to be a lot of communication coming in. What is this? And the six of pentacles. I feel like this person, um, first of all, is traveling. They may not travel all the time, but there's a travel component to this. Um, and I feel like this person just knew that it wasn't fair to up and move everything just for, you know, just to be together. They felt like they were making the right decision. Um, the star is the blockage here. This wasn't what they wished for. They wished for you and they didn't, you know, they didn't want it to end this way. Now the seven of wands. They, I feel like they tried to stop it or backpedal. I just feel like this person took a job traveling or is in the military and they travel or something. And they chose to just go ahead and go and leave you behind because they didn't want you to have to uproot, you know, everything. The ace of cups. What they really want to do is get out of that now. Now they want to backtrack right? So the foundation of the reading is this 10 of swords. Boy, did it hurt when this, this person left. And I think it hurt this person too. I think they thought they were doing it for the right reasons. Five of wands. Now they're very conflicted about it. Wondering if they should have done something differently. Wondering if they should have um, included you in that decision, right? The sun, Leo energy twice. So could could have Leo in your chart. But mostly this person is really looking for a way out. It's like they're looking for an escape route, I feel like. And I know that, that sounds crazy, but that's what I feel like they're doing. Um, you, you know, you're the person that makes them happy. Vice versa, could be either way. But, you know, the sun is happiness, joy, bliss, the, the happiest card in the deck. And when I get the star and the sun in the same reading, that's a beautiful connection. So in the recent past, we have this death. Death of a relationship, the lovers. 
there was a finality here, but I feel like they almost, you know, they're just are really stressed out about the fact that they ended this without consulting you. They had a choice and they chose the wrong thing. The eight of pentacles, they went for money or a job. That's what happened. So the crowning energy is the three of cups. This person wants to get back together, but I will tell you, I feel like they're kind of stuck in some kind of contract or legality situation or whatever, right? Um, that's the only thing that's keeping the two of you apart, the two of swords. That's what's holding this person back from even being able to make a choice, right? And the seven of swords, they're strategizing. How can they get out of here? What can, what can I do to get out of this contract, out of this job, out of this situation? So coming into the near future, we have the high priestess, card of Pisces. And the 10 of wands, you know, they're not, they're not talking to you because they are very burdened by the decision that they made. And they know that it wasn't the right decision. You know, even if you would have chosen not to go along with them or not to be with them or, or whatever it was, you would have at least liked to have some input, right? Queen of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio you're talking to because we've got, you know, the Queen of Cups is water energy. The High Priestess is, is Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, we've got Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Leo, right? So how you see yourself right now, strength, you're really trying to, you know, this is a battle for you and you're trying to stay strong and you're doing a good job. But I almost feel like it, you're just like one, one second away from just unleashing, right? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy. Yeah, you're feeling a little volatile right now. And the tower moment, what did I say? You're feeling volatile, right? Something's about to give. And it's not even going to be anything that, that either one of you do. It's going to be something that the universe does. I mean, that's what that major arcana energy is, right? So external to you, we have the fool. Yes, this person feels like an idiot for not, like an idiot for not including you in this process, right? But also they do want a new beginning with you. They do. The Four of Cups. They're unhappy. They're miserable. They feel unfulfilled. They feel like a fool for doing this to you. I swear to God. And the King of Cups to go with the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio doesn't have to be. They're trying to get their emotions in check. They're angry at themselves. They feel like they did this, you know, they made the wrong decision. So how do they feel about moving forward? We've got the Three of Wands. It certainly could be a timing issue if they're in a, in a contract of some kind. Right. And the 10 of cups, you bring them happiness, right? They, you're their 10 of cups. And the seven of cups, they dream about this connection. They dream about this relationship. They dream about you. So your potential outcome is this knight of cups, you know, this person following their heart and the fool and, you know, deciding I'm, I'm done doing whatever this is. I'm out. Right. I want a new beginning with my person. Yeah. Hierophant. So this person may be getting, you know, sprung from whatever contract, you know, the Hierophant can be, you know, institutions, military, hospital, legal, financial, you know, and a contractual job is, is going to fall under that category, whether it's military or not, but they're, you know, but they're going to, they're going to break free from that. We've got the moon on the bottom of the deck. You know, there's kind of an unknown here about when they'll be able to move forward with that eight of wands. It's like, there's kind of this uncertainty right now, but they are going to be able to move forward. It seems like it's taking forever and queen of cups, right? I, I feel like you guys are in that emotional energy because there is a lot of love here, but the ace of swords and the ace of wands, there's going to be a breakthrough. Like this person is going to be able to come through and have a new beginning with you. King of Pentacles, um, they're coming in with some money. Four of Swords, they want to heal this connection. All right, Jamini, that's what I got for you. Don't forget to stop by every Friday for Free Card Friday. Um, that's every Friday at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time here in the United States. 
Um, also, if you want to book a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And I'm sending you tons of love and light.